Okay, up to now we've learned how to add uh, a new object into the list and uh, with the position that we want it to be placed. Also imagine that uh, we want to have uh, a kind of, so let me uncomment this, or we can I can comment this for now and also comment these ones as well. I can fully delete these prints as well in order to make it simpler. So imagine that uh, I want to uh, add a new item to the end uh, to the uh, end of this list and make it the, the fifth one of the list. I can simply write uh, first list first actually first list and I can write dot append and inside of it we, I can write the new object that I want to add. For example, I want to add um, Mary. Mary. So I can save this and run the code and as you can see Mary has been added uh, at the end of the list and we have a list of the length 5. Okay, and uh, so we've learned the, new, and the different types of adding new parts to the list or objects to the list but imagine that we have uh, another list so let me call it the second list and uh, declare it this way so I can here write Thomas Joey and also I can write George and Harry okay and uh, I want to add the second list to the first list uh, so that we have a longer list so here I can write first list dot extend so extends appends the second list to the first list extend and inside of parentheses I can write the name of the second list which is second list so if I run the code um, well, we just need to simply print the first list or I can just cut this one and paste it right here save the code and rerun it and here as you can see the two uh, least have been uh, concatenated or somehow uh, connected to each other or extended and we have learned different kinds of adding different parts to the first list that we have either it's uh, a new part or a list of other objects uh, we can so easily use these functions insert append and extend in order to change the uh, list that we have so let me uncomment this one as well we can also change the um, and replace the parts with other parts and uh, there are so many different ways we can modify uh, these lists so now up to here uh, we haven't uh, the only thing we haven't done is to remove a part from the list so for example we want to remove Joey and we don't want to add anything else uh, so in order to do that we can use uh, so many different ways there are so many different ways we can do that for one of them is to remove so uh, remove pop and delete or deal uh, so uh, the first one is remove and in order to write that uh, we can use the name of for example we can we want to um, first of all let's see what we have inside our list we have Sarah, Tom, Jane, William, Mary, Thomas, Joey, George and Harry 
So for example, we want to remove Harry from the list. In order to do that, uh, we can write first list and uh, we can write dot remove and instead of that we can write Harry. Harry and let's, so let's save this one and run the code. So here as you can see we don't have Harry inside the list. Also imagine that we want to uh, uh, remove the parts according to the position. So William is the third, is uh, actually the first one of the list. So its position is three because it starts from zero. The list starts from zero, one, two, three. Okay, here, uh, if I want to do that, I can use pop. Uh, so the pop method is going to remove uh, the items by their position. So here I can write three and it should also remove a William for me. So let's see if we have William. Okay, after Jane, we have no, we don't have William and we have Mary. That's it. And if you want to, if you use, let's see if you use pop without any number, first let's dot pop and parentheses and we have no number in the parentheses. Well, as you can see, the last one of the list has been removed. So by writing no number inside the pop method, uh, we'll, we're, we're going to uh, remove the last item of the list. Also, we can use a delete or deal in order to delete the, uh, one of the parts of the string uh, of the actually the list so we can use deal and first first list and inside the brackets we can write the position of uh, a certain item inside a list so for example here we have Mary and its position is three zero one two three or for example for here Thomas we want to remove Thomas here so here, here we write four and As you can see, Thomas has been removed. It was before Joey and after Mary, and we have no Thomas here. Okay, and uh, just the same as pop here, if we write nothing here and simply write first list, del first list is going to remove the last part of the list, the, the last item of the list, which is Joey. So let's save the code and see what happens. Um, we faced an error. Actually, what I forgot to say was that uh, using del, uh, delete or del first list is going to delete all of the list altogether, and because of that, uh, we cannot print the first list. And okay, here, um, let's cut this one and paste it here and as you can see here by deleting the first list uh, we have no list here so if we write print first list we're going to have no list at all so at first we get the result Jack, Sarah, Jane, Mary and Joey and then we faced an error because the list does not exist. And uh, also clear does the same thing as delete, but uh, it does not um, delete the whole, the whole list itself. It only uh, leaves us uh, the empty list, okay? So there's a difference between an empty list and the list that does not exist. Here the list does not exist but uh, if instead of delete the first list we write first list dot remove parentheses and uh, we'll see a list without any item so let's run the code 
and see what happens. Okay, so uh, actually using the remove method here will also do the same as delete first list. So it's going to throw an error and say that uh, there is no list here. So we have printed out the first list and we have saved the code. So let's make sure so that's okay. Okay, but as you can see here, we're printing the first list after removing the first list. We have no list at all. So by remove takes exactly one argument to zero given. And that works exactly the same way as deleting the first list. So uh, there's actually no difference between an empty list and the deleted list. And they're both the same. So up to now, we've learned how to modify the list. We have had uh, different operations such as replacing different items with each other and, or inserting new items or appending them or uh, concatenating, concatenating the list together, extending them, removing parts or using pop in order to remove them and also deleting uh, one of the items from the list using the delete and also deleting the whole list by using delete or remove methods.